Good day everyone. Farmers, feed millers, tool millers, raw material suppliers, and other people that matter along the chain of production of feed for livestock, poultry, and aquaculture. Now, my name is Tunde Aguola. I want to speak uh, today under the uh, feed and raw material tips. I want to talk about the issue of dicassium phosphate. I hope you know dicassium phosphate. I hope you know that when you are thinking of how to add phosphorus to your list of uh, raw materials, you will be thinking of dicassium phosphate. That is uh, particularly for the farmers that do not patronize uh, bone meal. You know, bone meal has uh, the same set of minerals uh, that, like that of uh, dicassium phosphate. I'm talking of the calcium and phosphorus. However, when it comes to dicassium phosphate, you know, it's a very good raw material, highly reliable in terms of delivering the two uh, minerals in it, that is the calcium and phosphorus. However, we now have a lot of adulterated ones in town. A lot of dubious suppliers are supplying some other materials that look like dicassium phosphate and they are selling it in the name of dicassium phosphate that's why i want to let you know that your dicassium phosphate is supposed to have 18 percent phosphorus and 23 percent calcium you cannot know this by looking at it you cannot know this by smelling it you cannot know these by uh, any physical means except by taking your sample to the laboratory where the analysis is going to be carried out. You know why? If you go ahead and use uh, those other products that they, uh, that they sell in the name of dicassium phosphate that are not the real dicassium phosphate, your birds, your livestock will begin to have bone related issues we begin to see osteoporosis even in small and large animals you begin to see shellless heads you begin to see notice a lot of cracks in your among your heads you begin to see a lot of bone related issues in terms of skeletal structure will be very weak and this can even lead to high mortality because calcium and phosphorus are needed when it comes to the issue of body metabolism. Now, how do you recognize a bad dicassium phosphate? You recognize this by taking your sample to the laboratory and request for analysis of calcium and phosphorus. I've told you the standard. Phosphorus, 18%. Calcium, 23%. This is what your dicassium phosphate should contain. I'll continue with this in a short while. Thank you.